Today I will explain you optimized stitching with XML Baby Wizard scripts. First you choose the script, then the pictures, and you can see the grid of all the pictures if everything is ok. On my simulator you have all drones, you have all apps, and you can now, what's new, simulate the overlapping of the pictures. So we can optimize the stitching between 20 and 40 percent overlapping. For each drone I have optimized for between the focal lengths the overlapping. So that's exactly how I took the panorama. Now we will stitch them together. And you can see the result is perfect. Next example is the Mavic. First we choose the script. I always optimize the pictures with camera roll. Now you see the, the grid of the pictures. If we compare it with the simulator, choose the Mavic and see the overlapping. Optimize, simulate. It's also new that you can save the XML script on your own path and you can change the name if you like. And now we will stitch them together to see the final result. As you can see it works perfect. Last example is Inspire 150mm picture from last weekend. It's always the same procedure. For the Inspire 1 and Inspire 2 I introduce different focal lengths on the simulator between 12 and 25 millimeters. Also overlapping between 20 and 40 percent. You can simulate that and if we take a check on the final result we can see that the picture is perfect. My preferred method is drone blocks with full spherical shots. You can see we have not so much pictures as we have ordinary linear grid. I'm working on the Mac version 2, but it needs still some testing. Until now it works fine. And I think in some days I can also launch the Mac version. If you have a closer look on the program, I have all the drones, even the Spark. Spark has only 85 degrees of possibilities. We can simulate, optimize. I have all the apps. You can have Zenit, Nardia shots or not on the simulation. And you can always make the XML scripts as you like. You can change parameters as you like and you can choose your drone. For the Inspire 1 and 2 it's between 12 and 25 millimeters <coughs> and if you have a look on the drone block on the full spheric you can see it's much less images to take a panorama.